Melbourne detectives are investigating the death of men at work flautist and saxophonist Greg Ham. The 58-year-old's body was found in a house in North Carlton this morning. Police still won't say whether the circumstances of Ham's death are suspicious. Police were called to the Carlton North home around lunchtime after a friend of Greg Ham's raised the alarm. He attended here, he couldn't uh, uh, get anybody to answer the door. Um, he, uh, he went away, returned with another person and they, they located him inside the premises. Police say there are a number of unexplained circumstances about the death. We've got forensic crime scene specialist in attendance and uh, uh, the uh, pathologist will be attending at a later time and then conducting a subsequent post-mortem examination. Uh, those uh, forensic resources will help us to determine what has occurred and what is the cause of death. Along with frontman Colin Hay, Greg Ham became synonymous with the 80s band Men at Work. He was responsible for some of the most memorable saxophone riffs and solos in Australian music. But Greg Ham is best remembered for his flute on the international number one hit Down Under. His flute would become the centre of a copyright dispute after a court found it plagiarised the children's song Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree. After the ruling, Ham said he was terribly disappointed that that's the way I'm going to be remembered for copying something. We'll face massive legal costs. At the end of the day, I'll end up selling my house. Greg Ham recently moved to a smaller home. He's survived by two children. Guy Stainer, ABC News, Melbourne.